Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import comments into an Adobe InDesign project. This is great when you're working on revisions with a client or doing simple edits where you can create notes in Acrobat that you can import directly into InDesign and make the revision and editing process that much easier. So what I have here and what I'm going to show you in a second is I'm going to export this um, existing um, layout that I have here and then I'm going to bring it into Acrobat add some comments I'm going to show you some ways to add comments or um, add shapes and uh, things of that nature and then we're going to go ahead and import those same comments right into InDesign so let's get started the first thing I want to do is go up to file and export you've probably done this before in the past where you export a page um, as a PDF file. This is the stage you would do if you were sending something off to a printer. Um, so I want to put it in this folder. I'm just going to uh, call it October. What's today? Today is the 27th. And let's just go ahead and hit save. Now in the export Adobe PDF options window here, um, just a couple things that I'm doing that you may want to try out as well is I'm instead of exporting all the pages in a document, I'm selecting range and I'm targeting page two and page three that's the layout I have here and then I also have the export as I want it to set as a spread instead of pages this is this is great if you're working on an editorial design where you have facing pages that will keep that intact so I'm gonna go ahead and click spreads and then I'm just gonna hit export and I'm going to open this um, I'm going to open this up. There we go. So there's the PDF of the layout I just created. I've opened it up here in um, Adobe Acrobat. And the tool that we're going to be using here in the side panel is comments. So I'm going to add some comments here in this text um, just to kind of pinpoint certain things that I would want the designer to change, me or you. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit uh, comment and that's going to open up another panel up here our control panel up top and the ones that we're going to focus on are uh, underlining text i'm going to do strike through text and then i'm going to show you some um, some shapes that you can create to point to certain things and i'll get into an example of that in a second so i'm going to do first off i'm going to click on underline text and i'm going to hold option and zoom in and so what can we do here? Uh, let me highlight uh, something like um, this here. Okay. So I'm going to highlight the year and it's going to underline that year. You could change the color of it. Um, I'm going to keep it at red for now. Okay. And then I can go ahead and add a comment here. So I would actually say, let's just say that was not 1981. I would say it's actually 1982 please correct and a smiley face I would hit post so that's going to that's going to show up when we import okay so that's the first one and that's just underlining text now I've underlined one piece of text you can underline a whole paragraph and make a note that way um, a good thing to do is maybe highlight a whole paragraph underline it and then make the note make the paragraph the actual note and then the designer can make the change that way okay so that's the first way to do it the second one is strike through text so let's say um, I wanted to get rid of text okay I'm on the on the end user looking at this I'm gonna say the built-in camera allows three times optical zoom I'm gonna highlight that sentence there it's gonna strike it out now I've made it orange that's okay you can change it to whatever you want make it a vibrant color and then I would just say please remove this sentence um, yeah and that's good and then hey another smiley face that's good and then hit post so so far we've underlined a text to say please change that to 1982 we've striked through this text to remove it so the, the designer when it gets when they get the notes back would just remove that text and now that's working with text. I'm just going to scroll up here because I have some 
little thumbnail images of some of the camera timelines from uh, Polaroid over the years. And let's just say I wanted to increase the size of this. Now I could just make a, a note. Um, you can make a text note. You can actually add a comment this way, just a regular note. But let's be more specific because oftentimes you may send this to the designer and say, make that photo bigger. And I would get that and say, okay, which photo are they talking about? So let's drill it in and make be more specific. I'm gonna use one of these shapes up here. Let's use the arrow. So I'm gonna click on the arrow and I'm just gonna, you can hold shift to constrain the proportions and it'll stay straight. Okay, you can do that. And then you can actually angle it the way you want as well by grabbing one of those handles that are uh, provided there. So let's point to this camera here and I'm going to edit that and let's say, Please adjust this uh, image size. Make a little bit bit smaller. Thanks. Smiley face. Okay, and then let's go ahead and hit post. So we've done our edits. There could be many, many, many more, but I'm just showing you three here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save this out. So I'm just going to go to file and save. And then I'm just going to close it and close it. Let's go back to InDesign. And this is where we're going to import those. So now I'm receiving these notes and I can make the edits, the revisions. This is really cool. And it's going to save a lot of time in terms of not having to send multiple emails because everything is built in here. And um, we're just going to import everything. So the first thing you want to do, there's two ways of importing these. You can go up to file and import PDF comments. But what I like to do is have the window open. It just it acts as a, a little bit, um, the access to it is a little bit simpler. So window, PDF comments, there's the window there. You can just simply hit this button here, import PDF comments. And I'm gonna go to that folder. And there's, my, there's the PDF uh, comments or the file that we just worked on. So click it and then just import comments, okay? There they are. Now, if I click on them, oh, here's an important thing. Have your guides on, so just hit W, um, and there's that arrow there. To, to, to turn your guides on, just go up to uh, View, Grids and Guides, and you can hide or show guides there. Um, but the quick way is just hit W on your keyboard. Okay, so there's the three comments that I've made or uh, made in, in um, Acrobat. So let's start from the bottom up. So I'm gonna click it. There's the arrow that's been highlighted. So now I can go in there, double click. Okay, they want it a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna shift command, uh, I'm sorry, control command. Let me get that right, option command and then less than, okay? So I'm just gonna nudge it down one and then maybe kind of use my up arrow key to nudge that up. Okay, so I'm done that. Once you've done a uh, adjustment or uh, have taken care of one of these revisions, you can go ahead and mark resolved and that will remove it from the page. If by chance you've clicked that on accident, just unclick it and it'll bring it back. So I'm done with that though. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. Please remove this sentence. Okay, I'm gonna click that. There it is there, so I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, they don't want that sentence. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. That's it, highlight, delete, and then mark resolved. You're done. Let's move on to the last one. It's actually 1982, please correct. Okay, what's she talking about? What are they talking about? There it is there, 1981. Oh, it's 1981, let's make it 1982. And that's it, so. That is, the, that is a great tool to use when you're, I'm just gonna move it into my um, side tools there because I always use this. And so once you're done, that's it. You've made the adjustments. What you could do if you're all done, if you want to get rid of these, just go up to the PDF comments options, um, the icon up here, and you can delete um, all comments from the project. So what you could do now is save this out or export it as a pdf again and send it to your client and they could this could be a back and forth um, situation but it's just a, it, the progress you make um, and the, the time you save in terms of not having to send so many emails is great as well 
So once you're done, that is it. You can go ahead and file save or export it. And that is how you would import PDF comments into an Adobe InDesign file. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, visit my YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a nice thumbs up. And that's it for today. Um, hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.